The Fountain Cafe has been running for 11 years within our community. We open on a Wednesday morning at our local secondary school, operating on a donations only basis with a team of volunteers. Social inclusion and community integration are at the heart of what we do and we also offer a space where children and adults with learning disabilities can gain work experience, encouragement and support. Our existing facilities are in desperate need of an upgrade. We currently have to bake at home as the kitchen is not good enough to bake on site and the addition of an accessible toilet and new wider entrance doors with a ramp will mean that no one will have difficulties in accessing the cafe. Our dream is to see this project grow, to open more often offering further opportunities to those with learning disabilities and reaching those who are socially isolated. From what we have seen over the last 11 years, we believe this project will have a lasting impact on our community. Um, I've been coming to the Fountain Cafe um, since my first child was born three years ago and um, now my second child is born and uh, we still come to the Fountain and I come here weekly to meet friends and um, to see the staff and to have the delicious cakes. Um, the Fountain is great for young children because uh, they can come and have their food, their breakfast, um, there's toys to play with where it's safe and the staff are really friendly. I've met loads of new mums here and we have a great time to catch up and uh, talk about the woes of motherhood um, and the joys as well. This cafe could be the highlight of my week sometimes when I just feel I need to get out and meet people. It's a, a good place for even my age group to come and um, socialise and uh, meet friends and even make new friends. So it's good for all ages. Love the atmosphere and it place really buzzes. Um, hi, I'm Jenny and I come to the cafe most weeks. I love it here because I actually have time for me. I'm not running around after my children or after people that I look after at home and it's just a little space for me each week and I find that such a blessing. It's great um, and the food's great, the people are great. I mean I can't really tell you how much fun it is to come because I really enjoy it and I want to come every week so that's great. And the other thing I just wanted to say about is that I understand there's some plans for um, what I've been told is a disabled loo which is a bit tricky because I don't want a disabled loo, I want one that works. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to go for an accessible toilet, one that I can use with my wheelchair and get my dog in as well, um, which will be brilliant because then it means that I don't have to cross my legs all the way home. So thank you very much. Bye. Just a couple of weeks, this is my second week and I'm really enjoying it and it's been loads of fun, about a year, a year now. Um, I like being with um, loads of different people, meeting new people, serving customers and making teas and coffees. I like serving the customers and doing the fruit and yoghurt and just being part of the team really at the family cafe. The exciting thing about Fountain Cafe for me is just the connection between the church and the community. We get to come here and be part of this amazing, buzzing, lively atmosphere. It's so inclusive, everybody's welcome, it doesn't matter who you are, teacher, parent, little one, they all come in and they just get this amazing welcome, a fantastic piece of cake, whatever they want to drink, and it just feels like being part of one big family. The Fountain Cafe has been an invaluable asset to our inclusion work here at Wyvern. Many of our special educational needs students have worked in the community cafe. This has increased their self-confidence, their social skills, we've seen them grow and develop and I'm really excited about what other opportunities could come if this could be extended further and I know that it would make a big difference to the lives of our same students here. Well, Wyvern's celebrating its 60th anniversary this year and, uh, and part of the things we're proud of is, uh, is 
as a community school uh, and uh, our partners and friends at St Thomas's Church and in particular the Fountain Cafe project and they do a fantastic contribution uh, in, in charitable in that charitable offer to uh, to the thriving life of this community really and it's wonderful to see young people uh, in a busy and frenetic school uh, mixing alongside uh, the elderly, uh, young mums with toddlers and all friends and neighbours in the community on a regular basis on a Wednesday. But if the plans come off, if, if the, the ideas and the development that the, uh, the project team have can be realised fully, then uh, this is going to be a tremendous additional offer and added value to, to Ivan. Um, at the moment it's a great charitable gift but with more resource uh, and, uh, and, and more opportunity, then it's going to be the gift that keeps on giving. Well, over the past few months, um, Julie and her friends have been coming over to Sunnybank with a pop-up cafe, which has been really successful. Our residents love it. Um, and the added bonus is the luxury cakes that she supplies with it. So it's been a real bonus for Sunnybank. After hearing about the project, I was quite thrilled to be asked to be involved in it because I feel that's going to make a great difference to our residents in as much as not only can Julie and the Pop-Up Cafe come here, but you'll have the facilities then to cater for the residents going over to Wyvern College. Caring. Angels. Yummy. Lovely.